Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to walk you through how to explore and leverage some advanced text filtering techniques in DAX. More specifically, let's assume you had a page or a visual level filter like you see in front of you here where you wanted to filter something with a contains or does not contain. Now these are a little bit more complicated than simply having a Boolean filter where something equals a category label explicitly since this is a text search field. Now, for those of you less familiar with DAX, it might be a little hard to write initially or figuring out what function to use. So let's actually leverage the performance analyzer and the DAX query view to see how that's being used and then how we could take that code and put it inside of a measure that we can reuse ourselves. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So for this demo, I have a table matrix visual over on the left, and my product description has a filter or an advanced filter for contains channel and does not contain digital. So those are the two text search filters that I want applied. Now, how do I move this upstream though into a DAX measure, especially if I'm not very familiar with the functions inside of DAX? So we can actually leverage the performance analyzer. I'm gonna do start recording. I'm gonna come over to this visual with those filters applied already, and I'm gonna select the analyze this visual. Selecting that there will cause the query to run and be cached and then run in DAX query view is an option. So I'm gonna select that and it's gonna show a whole bunch of DAX down here, quite a lot of rows, uh, 82 to be exact, but the ones that I wanna call out is we're gonna scroll all the way up to the top and then let's zoom in a little bit on this one right here. So this first defined table that we have at the top is essentially applying a very optimized search criteria that is saying only return results where channel is being included and do not return anything where digital was part of the row context. So include search for channel, exclude uh, the search for digital. Now there actually is a specific SQL BI article. Let me go ahead and open this up. So this article from SQL BI that I'll reference you to does a much better deep dive on the processes and analysis on making sure that any text searches are very optimized. I highly recommend you read this. The goal of this video is just to show you how to reverse engineer it, pop it into it, measure yourself. But if you're curious on the technical aspects of this, I encourage you to check out this article. There's a lot of deep dives into that. But with that said, what I wanna do is take this code and I'm gonna put this right here inside of a measure to then move this upstream so that I can reuse it. So I'm gonna copy this here. I'm gonna come up to my report view and I'm gonna create a new measure over here. So let's close these other two windows. Right click, new calculation. There we are. And this, let's call this sales text search. All right, and let's come down to here. We're gonna use the calculate function against my sales amount. There we go, and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm gonna paste what I just copied down here. So that filter function and everything else. So it starts with keep filters. It's filtering over the distinct product description with a filter down here for search and not search. Now for a bit of cleanup, just as a FYI, not is the only function, one of the only functions that does not require actual parentheses in there. So you can just have not search but that just migrates this upstream into a measure that will give me the same result. So if I was to come over to just a new visual here, let's just put something for product category. I'll put my hierarchy onto a visual. Let's try this. And go ahead and unlock these. Move this out a bit. So let's start with, I'm just gonna do sales. So there we are. And convert this back to a table visual. There we are, okay. So we have a number, 37 million. So now let's put the same filters for description into here. Product description. We're gonna to go to advanced and contains channel. Just to confirm that this is working, does not contain digital. Click apply. We are given 2.9, perfect. So I'm gonna clear this. Now let's take this new measure, that sales text search that I just added and give it a bit of formatting at least. So there is my 2.9. Right down here where it is meeting the criteria for, there you go, certain elements and categories where these items will be found, but that has given me the same result. So there is that 2.9 that I wanted to see 
with the filters no longer being required to be done at the visual filter level. So it's a way to move this stuff upstream. And it also teaches you, again, one more useful technique of leveraging the performance analyzer and also seeing what the optimized code would be used by from the model itself by reviewing the DAX query view. So it's one way to kind of help teach yourself how to explore this stuff. Um, but this is just one way to mostly encourage you to leverage the DAX query view and look at those auto-generated queries coming from the visuals because it can explain some very useful ways that the engine automatically adds certain filters. And in this case, lets you move upstream the search functionality instead of static uh, single filters that is category equals X. But again, if you want more technical details, check out that SQL BI article. But as always, drop some notes down below in the comments section if you found this useful or if you have any suggestions, comments, or improvements. Some related content here in the upper left to check out for some of my other associated videos. Liking, commenting, and subscribing is encouraged to help my channel grow, and I will see you all in my next video.